the Dark Angel versus the Iron Demon, and Shane Mercer eyeing Dominique just like he would any opponent. Dominique drops down into a superhero pose. It's pretty oh, nice. Oh, you saw Deadpool too? That's good. <laughs> I don't think there's a person in here who hasn't seen Deadpool. There's a lot of old dudes here. Ladies and gentlemen, Deadpool. this next contest, standing to my left, he is the Iron Demon. This is Shane Mercer. A former world champion in multiple territories, one guy that no one wants to get in the ring against. And on the ropes to my right, this is Dominique Fabiano. Yeah, I was a little nervous. I didn't think he was going to get that. He nailed it. <laughs> really didn't. He man. nailed it. I thought it was going to be like Dominique Fabrubasno. Ferblando? Shane Mercer has probably one of the wildest finishing moves in wrestling. Known as the, the Moon Salt and battery. battery. You know who named that move? Was it you? Shane Helms. All right. Sugar Shane. They had a match in April of 2014. Now this match, it looks like it's going to be a little, uh, little difference. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of differences between these two. Let's be honest. Shane's a lot bigger than Dominique, but don't let anything fool you here. I mean, Dominique's a quick chick, as you can see here. Well, Fabiano is small and fast. Takes Shane into a side headlock. <laughs> Shane easily picks her up oh. and tosses her away. Wow. Oh, man. The front row almost got an up-close view of Dominique. Good thing those ropes were there. Well, some of the barbells that Shane lifts weigh some as of, much as Dominique. Some of them old dudes over there would have had their AARP cards bent in half. Oh, oh that could break her spine in half. Shane driving his shoulders into Dominique Fabiano's abdomen in his arm buckle, sizing her up. Oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, uh -oh. oh, oh, oh monkey, monkey flip. flip. Sends the Iron Demon to the other corner. Dominique ready to go. Rolls with him, big kick to the stomach. Like I said, you can't underestimate Dominique Fabiano. I keep wanting to say Mochianu. She was a 1996 Olympian. I don't know why I keep wanting to say that, but anyway, Dominique Fabiano, not Mochianu. Explain that again. Dominique Mochianu. No idea. She was a figure <laughs> skater in the 96 Olympics. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Oh, oh, oh! oh Sends Dominique Fabiano flying. That suplex almost sent Fabiano back to the backstage area. I think, I think it's like a goal of Mercer's to just send her flying to every corner at one point or another during this match. And Mercer taking absolutely no mercy against Fabiano in this match. He's taking it to her as if she was twice his size. I think Mercer got a little bit, a little bit shocked at the very beginning of this match. I think he realized, oh crap, I'm actually going to have to beat the heck out of this chick. I thought it was going to be an easy night. Yeah. An easy open and shut job. No, nothing's easy for either one of these wrestlers. Right now, Mercer, oh, I rake. Fabiano Long trying eyes. to just get some separation between her and Mercer. Yeah, yeah she's a catch her breath. She's been slammed around this ring like she's a rag doll. Oh, rag doll, the punk rock rag doll, Heidi Lovelace. I wish she was here, I miss her. Let's just not talk about it. Either way, Dominic going to the top rope. Is the angel gonna fly? Oh, oh. straight down to Shane Mercer. And the people here are now starting to realize this chick is just as tough as I keep saying she is. The high risk move no pays off. I'm telling you, that chick can work, man. She's tough. Oh, oh a big knee to the stomach. Shane Mercer actually uh -oh. doing what I said he was going to do. He's going to throw her into the bag. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> off the top of the that's entrance. Like, that's like 10 feet in the air. And Fabiano lands back down with a sick thud at the bottom. There's like a makeup smear on the entranceway now. And Fabiano showing just how tough she is with that kick out. Yeah, man, her, her head has to be a little shook up right now. 
She might be leaking brain fluid after that one. Is he going for that big jackhammer here? We've seen him put people away with this move. Vertical suplex position. She's kicking her feet, maybe trying to escape. The only way out is down. Nope. It's the knee right to the head of Mercer. Sends her flying into the ropes. She comes off the ropes. Coming from behind. Trying to go for a head scissor. Tornado oh, DDT. Big tornado DDT from Dominique Fabiano. That looked fantastic. Shade down in the corner. There are no favorites in this match for this crowd. These people are getting behind both of these athletes. Now Dominique's going for the corner. Gets sent up to the second rope. Uh-oh. Going for that big electric chair drop, perhaps. Tosses her up, catches her. Boom! Oh, German suplex. German suplex. Wow. <laughs> Only a two count for the Iron Demon. Fabiano showing a lot of resiliency, kicking out of these brutal moves. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm a little shocked. I really thought this was going to be like a seven-second match. And those other four seconds are so he could pick her up and slam her down. The guy that big, he, he bench presses more weight than Dominique has on her body, and that's a, that's a fact. I mean, you could tell because his max wasn't even throwing her up against the entrance way. Dominique hits the ropes, drop toe hold. hold. Has her face down to the canvas, grabs her leg, maybe going for a surfboard here. That's exactly what he's doing. Call back to the legendary Hector Guerrero taking her off the canvas here. The gobbledygooker. Oh, don't, don't, do not, don't, don't. Don't disrespect the Guerrero name like that. You brought him up. Fans are loving seeing this chick get bent in half. One. Oh, it's a double pin. You see, Rudy just hit both of her hands on the mat. So that could have been a draw. Oh, big knee to the gut. Well, not gut, abdomen. She's, you know, she's skinny abdomen. chick. Let's take abdomen. Going for that jackhammer yet again, but Dominic reverses it. Oh, hard spinning back elbow. Oh. oh. Going for a crucifix pin. Oh, one, two. And Shane kicks out. Of course, Shane was going for that big uh, back elbow into the clothesline from behind, but Dominique scouted it, got her way out of it, and almost got a pinfall. Big drop kick to the jaw of the Iron Demon. The fans here, I mean, they're, they're, they don't even know what to guess at this point. Things are looking pretty rough for Shane right now. I bet no one was expecting the fight to go on for as long as it has this right now. Fabiano is such a small girl, but she has really taken it to Shane. To be fair, small doesn't mean anything. I mean, after all, we did see Samantha Heights get a victory over Ron Mathis earlier tonight. I mean, a DQ, sure, but it was a victory. Yeah, still coming. Oh! In a hard shot. Goes to the rope. Shane scouts it, picks her up, ready to, oh. She slips out, not tonight. Caught her by the throat. Up she goes into gorilla press. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. British Bulldog style. Oh, and he gets DDT for his efforts. You know, it's funny because at the beginning of this match, I heard some idiots say, don't hurt him too bad as a joke. But guess what? She's hurting him. And it doesn't look like it's tickling whatsoever. Ooh! Shane has got her up on the top. Slap to the face, followed by a shot to the shoulders. It looks like Shane could be going to set her up for the moonsault and battery. I mean, he is, but she's trying to fight out of it, and she's and doing she a good did. job of doing so. I've seen him put away, I mean, several big names with that move. Cole Cabana, Shane Helms, you name it, he's beating him with it. Uh-oh. This is an intense situation. I really, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I don't know who's going to win this match. I have no idea. I'm completely shocked here. Maybe she's going for that... Uh, Call back to Scott Steiner with the Franken. Nope. Uh oh. This isn't good. This isn't good. Shane has reversed it. He has her set up now. 
You got to be kidding me. How did he pull that off? Oh, so oh, my battery. God. I didn't see that working out for him. One, One two, two, and three. three. This match is over. The Iron Demon gets the victory with the moonsault and battery. Looks like Fabiano was going to go into a... To I did not, the of I did the not see. That's a Frankensteiner. Frankensteiner. Yeah. But I did not see him turning around like that and it being successful. I'm glad I was wrong because that was a hell of a spectacle. That is going to be on every highlight reel of this week's action. That was a great match. Shane Mercer comes out on top.